Experts say it's too early to know whether people infected with the Omicron variant will develop long COVID. But many doctors believe it is possible to have long-term effects from Omicron. Long COVID is usually diagnosed many weeks after someone gets sick with COVID-19. Overall, some estimates suggest more than a third of COVID-19 survivors will develop some symptoms of long COVID. Scientists are racing to figure out what's behind this mysterious condition and whether vaccines could be part of the answer. Meanwhile, a peer-reviewed paper published in BMJ's Archives of Disease in Childhood Journal has defined the term long COVID for children in particular. Well, joining us now to tell us more about long COVID is Dr. Abhishek Rout, Medical Director at Apple Tree Medical Group. Dr. Rout, welcome back to Forum Daily. Pleasure to be here. Now, we've been hearing a lot about long COVID throughout the pandemic. So what have we learned so far about it? Well, long COVID has a cluster of different symptoms. The most common symptoms uh, reported are fatigue, malaise after exertion, and cognitive problems or brain fog. Uh, many have also said they've suffered insomnia, other sleep issues, heart palpitations, rapid heart rate, muscle aches, joint pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, and vertigo. Other research has also showed that COVID survivors have been found to suffer heart disease and other serious ailments, such as stroke, months after they were first infected. Some very concerning information there, Dr. Rout. Now, how do the findings in this recent paper on long COVID in children compare to how long COVID affects adults? That's a good question. A large study of children and young people who caught COVID has found that as many as one in seven may still have symptoms after 15 weeks. Uh, this figure, uh, however, is lower than some studies that are reporting a prevalence of long COVID as high as 51% in children and young people. Luckily, we know that both acute COVID and long COVID seems to be less severe in children and adolescents than in adults. Uh, in children, we saw a short-term increase in primary care after COVID, uh, and this increase was there for up to six months, especially for children aged one to five years. All right, Dr. Routh, so how likely is someone to develop long COVID after contracting the virus? Well, the Journal of the American Medical Association showed that COVID survivors suffer both short and long-term difficulties. So after six months of diagnosis or discharge, more than half or 54% uh, were still struggling with at least one symptom of long COVID. The American Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation now runs models that assumes 30% of the population has some kind of post-acute long COVID symptom. And although we don't know if Omicron causes long COVID, are there any variants that have been connected to this condition? What we're noticing is that long COVID is associated with disease severity. So as disease severity increases, so does the risk of all these cardiovascular complications in the long run. Uh, so what we're seeing is if it's related to disease severity, the variants uh, related to disease severity are at the greatest risk, especially the Delta variant. All right, Dr. Rout. So what is still to be known about long COVID? I think there's a lot we still need to learn about long COVID. The biggest question is why? Why does it happen? We don't see this magnitude in long-term symptoms with influenza or other viruses. So the reason behind that is still puzzling. And the second question is how long will it last? So far we have data talking about symptoms for six months, maybe 12 months, but does it go even longer? So quite a few questions here. And so should, should Canadians be worried about long COVID and its impact in the long run, especially coming out of the pandemic, Dr. Rout? I think it does change the likelihood of risk for a variety of conditions uh, compared to those who were never infected. People who had a COVID infection were more likely to have symptoms, including heart disease, heart failure, dysrhythmia, heart attacks, strokes and clotting. Uh, so very severe conditions there. People with prior COVID-19 infections were more than 60% likely to develop any cardiac issue after. Uh, so very life-threatening and uh, very concerning. Very concerning indeed, Dr. Rao. Just about a minute left here, but how do you see long COVID impacting society as we recover from this pandemic? That's a very good question. So let's assume that our models show that what the American models show, which is 30% of Canadians who've had COVID will have some degree of long COVID. That means in Canada, that's almost a million people who may have long COVID. So the pandemic will certainly leave in its wake many people with lasting symptoms and illness. And this, of course, uh, poses an enormous future challenge for healthcare everywhere. Uh, so we certainly need more research to find the cause and damage of long COVID and prepare to treat it in all its manifestations. 
Dr. Abhishek Raut, always great having you in our medical segments. Thank you again, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks for having me.